the installation speech was entitled A Smart and Caring Nation, A Call to Service. A Smart and Caring Nation, both adjectives are quite important. Call to Service, and it had three pillars, family and children, learning and innovation, philanthropy and volunteerism. You have to get all of those together. I, and it was based around knowledge. And the, the question was, how do we have equality of opportunity and excellence too in this nation as complementary objectives? How do we ensure that the opportunities to advance one's talent through a great public education system, for example, reach all of our population so that they each can advance as far as they possibly can in their intellectual and other development? And then, having done that, how do we put that talent to work, the knowledge in those people and the knowledge itself to improve the human condition? How do we do two, those two things? I think this nation works harder at those two things than any nation in the world, and I think we have to work even harder at making a smart and caring nation. Now back to this park. This represents that. I'm so glad you heard from Faraday and from Ken and from Terry, because they each gave a chapter of that story, and they told you how this park came about when it wasn't supposed to be. It was against all odds. And they told you about the collaboration and clustering of different factors that make this so special, that makes this the knowledge capital of the world. Terry's wonderful exposition on really the goal of the University of Waterloo, where we join theory and practice, where we believe in cooperative education, where we don't see a barrier between the place of work and the place of thinking, where we have the research agenda that is not only driven linearly from basic or fundamental research to experimental research to application to what's taught in the classroom, but we go back and forth on that spectrum, and in a few moments we'll be down at the Waterloo Global Science Initiative at the Perimeter Institute, which is another important piece in that cluster or that continuous spectrum of bringing industry right into the university on this park because uh, technology transfer and knowledge is a contact sport. That is, you've got to be in contact with other people to make it work. Intimate contact with other people. Collaborating, as Ken pointed out so well, and as Terry pointed out so well, and that over many, many years. That's the lesson that Waterloo Region has for the country. That is how we make a smart and caring nation. That's why this region is the knowledge capital of Canada, because we know how to generate it, we know how to teach, in an extraordinarily different way, lifelong learning where you combine theory and practice. Uh, the most practical thing in the world is a good general theory, especially if you're constantly revising it against practical experience. And then extending that to every country, every community across the country, and every region of the world. And so that's why I'm so pleased and humbled to have my name associated with this park, not to attribute uh, significance to any one individual, but to use this as one of those pinnacles, of one of those great flags to make a smart and caring nation and to demonstrate to this country how important the lessons of barn raising here in Waterloo are. Merci pour l'honneur que vous avez